This video is presented by NewWoodworker.com. There's lots of high quality, high accuracy tools available to woodworkers these days, but it's up to you to use them right to get all the accuracy you can out of them. Something as simple as using a sharp pencil as opposed to a dull one can change how your projects come out. Woodpecker's taper de it is ruled to bring the numbers right down to the wood because it's easier to get an accurate mark that way. Whenever I use a tape measure, I always push the side down flat on the wood so I can make an accurate mark. Drawing an accurate cut line can be pretty simple. But if you don't make some kind of mark that lets you know which side is waste and which side is good, you could mess this up when you go to the saw. When I lay out dados, I've learned to draw both sides of the dado and draw a squiggly line in the middle where the wood is to be removed. I learned this because it's very easy to cut the dado on the wrong side of a single line, like this dado is supposed to be over here. This is a standard 8th inch wide blade on my table saw, and I want to make two cuts that are both on that layout line. This is just another demonstration of what happens when you don't mark the waist side of your cut. And here's that pair of cuts from the other side. Notice that that little web of material in the middle of the cuts is actually a little narrower than the layout line. The blade was actually on that layout line through both cuts, but we've got a little more than a quarter of an inch of air. If you're cutting a number of pieces for a project, you'll cut some on one side of the line and maybe some on the other side, and there's no way for the project to come out square. A simple X on the waist side of this line would have eliminated the possibility of this error. Using something as simple as a gauge block can eliminate layout lines altogether. Set this upright and you can cut parts all day long and they'll all be the same size. A zero clearance insert can make hitting a layout mark very easy, especially when you have the little mark on the waist side like I did here. All of these techniques are simple. The hardest thing is teaching yourself to use them every time you do a layout. 